2021, um, I uh, handled a burial service for two young ladies. Um, they were burying their mother. And I uh, worked with their father at my very first car job in 1986. Uh, I was the baby of the bunch of the sales force. I was 20 years old. And, uh, you know, maybe there was one 30-year-old and everybody else was old oh, man. So, you know, all those guys kind of took me under their wing, taught me the business as best they could. Uh, so I was so excited to get a chance to see him because by now he's in his 70s. And uh, I, I wanted him to also feel somewhat proud. You know, I'm the man at the business. I'm, I'm the boss. So they get out of the family car. So this is his ex-wife at the time. And I'm so excited to see him just, just bustling with joy. And he asked in front of everybody, whatever happened to that bad crowd you used to run with? <laughs> That's not what he said, but I'm making it sound good to you. And I was like, wow, the dude just pulled 35 years ago out on me. <clears throat> I'm happy to see him. And he cold goes all the way back to 1986 in front of all of these people. You know, I'm from South Memphis, so I, I, but he's in his 70s. So, so he's not far away from my dad. So I, I, I respected the moment. But even though I had to think, I'm like, wait, that was 1986. Maybe he missed me on Bishop Patterson's broadcast live while they were being televised live in the 90s. Or maybe he didn't see my picture in the commercial pill every month for Honda Salesman of the Month. Or maybe he didn't see any of the time I was on local television, paid local television. And, and then just maybe he hadn't heard about all the thousands of people that I have personally helped in the death care space. And wow, I just sat there while all he could think about was the crowd that I ran with in 1986. Look, no matter how many positive moves you make, there's always someone else out there, much less he had to see me preach on Facebook, YouTube, every everywhere else. He, he's safe. But somebody's always looming out there to pull something from your past to mess up your trajectory forward. So look, I just, I called my dad because I, 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 I was, it was a punch to me. I'm happy to see him. You pull out a year on me. <laughs> so uh, my dad said, you just got to look over it. And, and he gave me a direct command. Just look over it and go on. And uh, I listened. So I did. I looked over it and I moved on. So when they pull a year out on you, I'm going to use my dad's advice to me to you. You look over it and you move on. Be blessed.